what is going on everybody and welcome to another episode of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. In today's part we are going to begin work on money printers. So in this episode we're just going to do some basic setup for this. So let's go ahead navigate to our entities folder here where we have our ammo dispenser and our barricade entities already created. And all we want to do in here is just like we did with these two entities here is create a brand new folder. And let's go ahead and give this a name. Let's do basic underscore printer. And now in here, we just want to create our three files, which will be the cl underscore init, dot lua, our init, dot lua, and lastly, our shared dot lua. So let's go ahead and open up all of these files here. And let's start with our shared.lua file. Now, just like we did with the other ones, we want to go ahead and do some of this basic information here, such as the ent.type. And we're going to set this equal to anim, just like the other two. Then ent.base equals the base underscore gmod entity. Again, just like we did with the other two entities. And then the basic information, which will be the print name, which is the name that will be displayed. And since this is called the basic printer, I'm going to set that as the value for print name. Then ent.author. Go ahead, put your name here. Then ent.contact, and then the purpose of this, ent.purpose. Go ahead, just give it a little description here, and we'll just be really basic here. Print money. That's the purpose of it. Then the instructions for it is just as simple as place and print. Now, two more here. We need ent.spawnable, whether or not this is spawnable by normal players. True. Ent dot admin spawnable we will set this one to false again just like we did with all the other ones nothing new here and now we want to go ahead and do some stuff related to this entity which will be the ent dot buyer and we set this just to an empty string ent dot base health this will be the health of the entity and as it gets damaged it'll begin or it'll start at whatever we put here, in this case 20, and whatever the damage is will be deducted from this until it gets to zero where it will eventually be destroyed. And the last thing we want to put into our share.lua for now is the ent.model. And I already have a model here, I'm just going to copy and paste it over, which will just be a receiver model. And the way to get these is all you got to do when you're in that Q menu, just right click on a prop and copy the clipboard and that'll go ahead and give you this, the location of the model. And just copy and paste what you copy right into here and then you'll be able to see that model when you spawn this entity. But that is all that we're going to do in our share.lua file today. Next up we want to go ahead to our client side init file and we just want to include the shared.lua file. And we also want to go and, in this ent draw function, just like in the other two entities, we just want to self colon draw model. And this will go ahead and draw the entity on the screen when we spawn it. And that is all that we're going to need in our client side init file for now. Lastly, we need our init.lua file. This is the most code heavy file for the entity. And we're going to do a few things here. We're going to add a cslua file which will be the cl underscore init dot lua. Then another cs lua file, which will be the shared dot lua file. And then we want to also include the shared dot lua file as well. And we want to go ahead, after all this, create a couple of functions. The first one being the initialization function, which is going to initialize the entity with all the different necessary things, such as the model, the physics, the move type, and all that other fun stuff. So for this, we want to do function ent colon initialize and end it off. Then we want self colon set model. 
And because we have in our share.lua file this model variable, all we want to do is set this to self.model. And that'll go ahead, grab whatever we have stored in this string here. After that, the physics initialization, or physics in it. And we're going to set this to solid underscore v physics. Again, nothing new here, just the same stuff from last time. So if you just want to copy over, I believe, all of the stuff that is within the other entities, it'll go ahead and work. But I'm just going to go over it again here. So self colon set move type to move type underscore v physics. Self colon set solid to solid underscore v physics. Self colon set use type to simple use where and all this is going to do for us is it's going to only count a single press of the use key instead of counting it constantly as long as it's pressed down. Next we need a local physics variable equals self colon git physics object. And with this variable we want to check to see if is valid than this variable that we just created. If it is, then we want to wake it up. Lastly, in here we want to do self colon set health. And again, since we have the base health in this share.lua file, we can do self.base health. And that'll go ahead, initialize it with whatever you have set in here. In my case, 20. After this, we want to create a function for int use. This takes in two arguments, the activator and the caller. And all we're going to do in here is just do a little test to make sure that the entity is actually working and so later on down the line we can actually have it do what we want to do. So we're just going to utilize this activator argument, set nwint. The network int that we want to mess with is the player money. And we're just going to grab their current balance, so activator get nwint player money, and we're just going to add 10 to this. We're just going to give them $10 every time they press E on the money printer. And this, again, is just a temporary thing, just to make sure that we are actually, that we're actually working with a valid entity here, and that it's actually working. Lastly, we need something that will handle the damage, so function int colon on take damage. Has, or has, an, has a damage argument, an end. And in here, just like we did before, we want to do self colon set health to the current health minus the value of the damage. And then, of course, we want to check to see if the current health, self colon health, is less than or equal to zero. And if it is less than or equal to zero, Let's format that nicely. Then we want to self colon remove. And once we got all of that done, that is all that we're going to do with coding this time. So let's go ahead, head into game, and actually test this out. Now, once we get into game here, since it's not currently in our shop menu here, we can just create it from the console. So ent underscore create and the name of the uh, the name of the entity, or in this case, the name of the folder. So the name of my folder was basic underscore printer. And when we call that, it gets created. And if we pay attention to our money in the bottom left, every time we press the use key on it, it goes up by 10. So we know that everything is working out right. We actually can see the entity and we're actually, or the ent use function is actually being called because we're getting that $10. So everything's properly set up. Next time and over the next couple of videos, we'll be going over different ways of utilizing the money printer and having it with different print rates and some basic up to some advanced designs for how we're going to do this. But anyways, that will be for next time. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.